Hello everybody, I thought I would hop on here. I'm going to be giving a pineapple talk um, in, in March in our area at a local farm at a simpler place farm and market if you watch my videos and you're local. Um, I'm going to do that on March 16th at 1 p.m. and I'm, I'm, I'm really scared. <laughs> but I thought I would uh, hop on and do a little update so that some of my content would be a little more current. And this is the patch that I um, started with these two little pups. Um, a while back, I thought I would put them in the circle with the peach trees. And then I came back in just very recently and added three more that I had pulled up from the studio. I was thinning them out and and I plunked them in here. It's They've only really kind of only been in the dirt for just a short time. I just had them sitting here in the air, roots up, everything. And I had several of my pineapple growing friends um, saying that they um, see pineapples coming up and I hadn't seen any coming up. So Pineapple Man and I walked out here the other day and we started peeking in. We just stoop over and look inside and um, we don't see anything growing. I was like, oh, well, maybe we have a dormant season. And we got a, quite a bit of rain just uh, a couple of days ago, several an inch and a half, several inches of rain, a good amount of rain. And um, I've been noticing that we've got, we do have pineapples coming up. This is rather amazing because I just put these in the dirt. These are the these are the pineapple plants I put in the dirt, and they're already growing a pineapple. Did you see that? It's like a little, it's like a little uh, kitchen scrubber <laughs> way down in there. And I think the leaves were covering it up, and we didn't see it. And here's one here. So it sent me out on a hunt in some of the patches, and I found one here at the chicken coop coming up. I don't know if you can see it, it's pushing the leaves out. And then I found some around here. So it's exciting. I had peeked out my studio window and saw one coming up there. So if you're curious of what it looks like um, coming up, that's what it looks like. Don't stick your finger down in here to try to move the leaves away. Use the stick or something, or wear gloves, wear long sleeves. When working with pineapples because this is very prickly there's razor sharp edges on that so that one's going to get another one and i want to run over here real quick again i'm at running and not editing because because you have to watch the other videos to figure that out these pineapples i have thrown over here when i was thinning out another time you basically plant them and forget them don't over love them just plant them and forget them. There may be one down in there. It's kind of deep. But look how this one, it determined it's going to push the leaves and the acorns out of the way. This is going to get some really pretty purple flowers on it. This is like a smooth cayenne variety of pineapple. It's got a very sharp point. But you're a little better with the razor sharp edges on the other. That other one I showed you that had the razor sharp edges in the middle was a rough cayenne. Makes sense. So there's a little update. I do have some pineapples growing. I'm very excited. I was afraid that I was we were losing our touch. <laughs> there's nothing to it. There really is nothing to it. It's so easy. Our motto around here is just plunk them in the ground and that's obviously what I've done. I've just thrown them in the in the ground. So have fun on your pineapples search. Happy pineapple farming, y'all.